So when everyone else is on their way to Columbus, Ohio for the Arnold Classic, I'm here in my basement by myself about to squat. So I do appreciate the company. And one of the things I wanted to talk about today is just what I've been trying to do for my own knee to get myself better and healthy again. As you guys know, I've been dealing with some knee issues the past couple of months. In fact, it's actually forced me to take about two weeks off of training already this year alone, which is pretty significant in my opinion. But my knee is starting to feel a lot better because of it. So first of all, if you're dealing with any kind of pains, aches, and issues from your training, definitely consider taking some time off. I know we're really stubborn and don't like to do that. But in the long run, it's probably better to take a week off now than try to push through and get hurt and having to take several weeks off because of an injury. So that's my first and foremost advice for that. The other things I've been trying to do is before I work out, I like to use some type of muscle rub compound. There's plenty of brands out there from generic brands to Flexol to Icy Hot to Ben Gay. I've been using this particular brand, which I can't even remember off the top of my head, but I'll go ahead and show a clip or screen on it right now. This is something that someone on YouTube was using and I picked it up off of Amazon for fairly cheap. So I'll link that in the description box if you're interested in this particular one. Now what I like about this brand is the fact that when you first put it on, it's not too bad. It's fairly mild in terms of the stimulation you get out of your knees. But once I pull my knee sleeves up and start getting some friction going, things really start to heat up, which is usually the case. Uh, but with this, I will very much suggest that you make sure that you wash your hands after because even though it's pretty mild going on, you don't want to get in the bad habit of accidentally touching your junk when you're adjusting yourself or taking a piss because that thing will start to burn and you don't want that on your balls. It feels very similar to gonorrhea. Not that I know what that feels like. So tip number one, I like to use a muscle rub on my knees before I actually start training just to get things warmed up. So one of the things that's also really helped me is getting the right warm-up and mobility routine for my own programming and my own schedule. So what I mean by that is in the past, I used to do like 20 to 30 minutes worth of warm-up and mobility. And in a sense, that was good. In fact, that I got really loose. My flexibility got a little bit better, but it was bad in the sense that when I started to train and got under the bar on those particular days, I was really tired and already a little bit fatigued from training, not to mention that added another 20 to 30 minutes on top of my training routine and eventually got to the point when my training changed and I was still doing that, that I ended up just dropping mobility because I was in the gym for way too long. Even though I have a gym in my house now, that's still way too long in my opinion. So I played around with not having any warm up or mobility at all. That obviously really hurt me. I would rely on just warming up with the bar a lot more. And while it worked in a sense, it really suffered in terms of not getting me loose enough and I think that could potentially lead to more injuries. So one of the things I've been doing recently is using a warm-up routine by Bryce Lewis. I've showed you guys some clips of it already in these videos, some band work, some barbell complexes. I really like it because it's pretty quick, it's pretty to the point, and it really checks off all the boxes that you would need to. And it's really versatile warm-up that will really get you ready for anything because it gets you really loose overall. So I'll link that in the description box below if you're interested. Another thing I've really been trying to do, which really makes me feel like an old man, is actually ice my knees. And I've been doing it twice per day, once in the morning and once in the evening, which is basically whenever I have time. Now, the nice thing about icing your knees is the fact that it really requires no effort. You can just strap it on and lay down. It sounds a little bit dirty, but you can watch TV, you can watch a YouTube video, do other work, whatever, eat breakfast, eat dinner. It's very simple to do. Now, again, I just picked up something easy on Amazon. I'll link the one I got in the description box below. It was cheap but it's easy and it's been really effective because it really helps just with any aches and pains and maybe any kind of inflammation you might have from doing all those high squats.
So in addition to the muscle rub, the pre-workout mobility, and also the icing of the knees, if I'm feeling really sore and achy, or I feel like I have some tendonitis acting up, which is on the occasion when you get a little bit older, I do like to use some ibuprofen every now and then, but this is more of a rare circumstance. So the other three, definitely more. That's kind of more of a last resort, again, if I'm feeling really bad. Again, with any of these things, if you're feeling that bad where you have to do all these and you still don't find it's helping, make sure you do take some time off, rest, recover, get healthy first, because again, you wanna make sure that you're looking at the long term and the long run and your overall health and pushing through rather than taking just a week off could end up really fucking you up in the long run and you could get injured to a much more severe level. So hope that helps. That's what I do. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay real.